Hello everyone and uh, welcome to um, <coughs> the uh, tutorial for the rapid home screen test of gonorrhea. We are now going to illustrate to you how the procedure is carried out and show you the content of the uh, test kit and um, also give you some other instructions on what you have to do. Now this product is for in vitro diagnostic use only and can be used at home. I will start off by uh, showing you the content of the kit. First of all, it'll arrive in an anonymous package like this one. And now I'll take the content out and um, explain to you what the different parts are. It'll arrive with an instruction sheet. <coughs> It'll have a mixing tube. That's where you'll mix the buffer A and the buffer B with the um, <clears throat> with the specimen from the test. I'll put that right here. Then, of course, uh, you'll have what's called the buffer A, the buffer B, the swab that you will use to collect the specimen. Actually, I'll just start off by opening that one right away take it out so we have it ready for use. <clears throat> and then of course the test cassette itself. Now inside of the test cassette there is also a, a micro pipette, a uh, dropper. That's, um, that's the one you will use to, um, to take out uh, liquid from buffer A and the buffer B and, uh, and mix with the, um, with the specimen in the mixing tube. So. I'll proceed by um, by opening the test cassette. Now this one is for storage purposes only and it's not a part of the, uh, the test itself. It just simply keeps the test dry. That's it. So I'll dispose of that properly. Now here's the micro pipette that I was talking about. <clears throat> so as I've uh, explained to you, basically buffer A, buffer B, the swab, the mixing tube, the test cassette, and the micro pipette. That's all we'll need. And uh, the instruction sheet of course. Now what you'll start up by doing is take the cap of the mixing tube, remove the cap like this, <clears throat> Then I will take um, the buffer A, remove the cap, and then use the micro pipette. Then I will add about, well, we'll just do this first. Let's see, I'll put that right here. I'll add about eight to nine drops of buffer A into the uh, mixing tube. So we'll, we'll go ahead by doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the next part is the tough one, and this is where we really have to pay attention to do this correctly. <clears throat> now, this test can be used both by females and by males, uh, but the way that the procedure is carried out is a little bit different. We'll illustrate the procedure to you by, by showing you a set of different pictures. Uh, we'll start by the male one. Now, for the male patient, you insert the swab into the urethra of the penis. This is the opening of the penis. Um, now, then you gently rotate with sufficient pressure to dislodge the epi epithelial cells. Then you, allow, then you allow the swab to remain inserted for a few seconds after rotation. 
After you've waited a few seconds, you carefully remove the swab and it's very important that you avoid contact with any external surfaces that could contaminate the specimen. Now the test kit arrives with, um, with two swabs. Now for the male procedure only one swab will be necessary. However for the female one uh, you will need both swabs. <clears throat> now for the female patient You have to swap discharges from the vaginal tract opening, as illustrated in this picture. Then you insert swab into vaginal tract for half a minute and retrieve swab. That means you take it out. And it's the same procedure here. You have to be careful and remove the swab and avoid contact with any external surfaces that could contaminate the specimen, as previously mentioned. Now what you do, um, I've collected my own specimen here. Of course, I, I didn't show that to you guys, so that wouldn't be appropriate on YouTube. But I've used this one now to collect my own specimen. What I'll do is that I'll place the swab into the tube and mix well with buffer A so that discharges are well suspended in the buffer A. In other words, that they simply that they mix up. <clears throat> like this. What I'll do next is that I'll add about um, eight to nine drops of buffer B to the tube. <clears throat> I'll proceed by doing that. I'll use the microfet again. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That's enough. And I'll cap the tube and remove buffer B. Again, I'll mix these liquids. I'll try to squeeze the swab towards the wall of the uh, mixing tube so that as much content as possible um, comes out and goes down in the mixing wall. Like that. And then I'll properly dispose of the swab. What I'll do next is that I'll cap the tube and um, I'll mix them all together. That should be good enough. Remove the cap, put that aside, and then I'll use the micro pipette again. I'll draw about 0.1 milliliter, which is close to about four drops of sample into the pipette. So I'll insert about four drops <clears throat> of sample into um, into um, the wall on the cassette. This is the testing wall right here. That's three. Four. Here we go. We're done. Now we're just going to have to wait uh, 10 to 15 minutes and then we can read the results. Do not read the results after 30 minutes have passed. <clears throat> I'll dispose of these two. Now, as you can see here on this cassette, here there's a C and here there's a T. 
The C stands for the control line. If you see a line here at the control line, that means that the test works. And that's a good sign. That's what we want. However, <clears throat> if a line had shown up next to the T as well, that would have meant that I have gonorrhea, that I've tested positive for gonorrhea, and um, and I will have to do um, have to take action. Go and see a doctor and, um, and receive the proper treatment. Now 15 minutes have passed, uh, and as you can see, there is only one clear line next to the C. That means I'm gonorrhea negative. Now, if you perform this test um, and it comes out with a positive result, it is very, very important that you seek out medical professional advice as soon as possible. That means that you go to um, your local doctor's office, you talk to them about your situation, and you explain it. Then you have them perform a confirmatory test, and if that one comes out as positive as well, then you will have to receive treatment. <clears throat> this is it. We have our website listed at the bottom of, um, of this tutorial video. Uh, you can buy a rapid home test kit for gonorrhea there. Um, we thank you very much for uh, watching this tutorial video. Um, we wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you and um, goodbye.